Hello and welcome to my channel. Just wanted to do a quick little video about some magnetic event that's going on right now on Iswa. And what we're seeing here is you see these blue lines. Blue lines means IMF, electric uh interplanetary magnetic field lines, which means they are not connected to Earth magnetically at all. And we are seeing them and it's, it's a field, magnetic field of something that is very close. We're seeing them all along here and the black lines are pole cap lines. They're coming from Earth. And you can see right now there are none on the south. The red means closed field lines. Those are coming from Earth. Those are pushes from Earth. So a neat little event, the bow shock has become very wide. Uh, we're seeing a lot of induction heating here. Uh, and because this other magnetic field is here, the Earth's magnetic field is reacting to it. Again, we've lost our southern polar cap lines. They will return. But just showing you right here, um, and come back to it, right? Here we go. All right, so you can see that this field, something is very close. It's just off where we just can't see it, but it's here. Um, these northern polar cap lines are all looping around to the south. And instead of coming strip straight back, they should come straight back north and south as you can see there are no polar cap lines they're all changed over to closed field lines and this is earth pushing against other magnets it's the only reason why closed field lines happen is because there's another magnet now as you can s we'll see here in a second i'm going to fast forward this right here this is that same push from Earth. Earth is a magnet and when magnets get close together their field lines will close up. Just like if you try to push two magnets of the same polarity together they will repel. This is what Earth is doing. Earth is repelling against another magnet. I'm just sliding the cursor and you can see several little things here as this progresses. Magnetic field changes very rapidly. So I just wanted to give you a quick little video on this, a little event that's going on. There's nothing like what we saw this month on the 9th, but uh, it's going on and we are seeing some energy from the sun side. Earlier we had a little magnetic geostorm coming from the sun but that has passed and we are beyond that so this is something coming from the backside and right here you can even see a pole cap line wrapping around the front and earlier I saw a screenshot where a northern cap line was wrapping around and then a southern cap line was wrapping around to the north so we had the north wrapping around to the south and then the south wrapping around to the north very crazy magnetics right now. It's because another magnet, aka a planetary body, because every planet or moon or sun is a magnet. It has a magnetic field. Everything in our electric universe is electrically charged in some way. So if you don't understand our electric universe, it's something you got to look into. You could start with scientifically on YouTube or even uh, David LaPointe and uh, the primer fields videos that'll give you a good start but scientifically we'll get into much easier terms and more detailed so that's that oh I guess I closed it anyways no it's here uh, folk radiation belts are showing a lot of energy circling earth uh, solar wind velocity map 
is showing the same event uh, right there. You see this wind pushing from Earth. Yes, so there's some energy coming in from the sun in this orange color here. The bow shock is the thick red, and it's usually not that thick, but there's a lot of energy coming in, so it's thicker. The field has increased, and the earth is dissipating it off or pushing, and these arrows are showing us that. They should all point left, and but they're also showing that earth is pushing, pushing as well. So I'm just sliding the cursor. And a lot of times, and not right now, a lot of these arrows in here will be pushing against the Boshock in the total opposite direction that it should be. Sometimes we even see him all the way back here turned and pointing to Earth against the solar wind. So we do have proof of that we live in a trinary system. That means three suns. We're only told about one but we actually have three and we've seen their magnetic signatures these tools show us as well like I said another field over here is indicating that other bodies are around us and we know that suns bring planets with them other magnets so alright talk to y'all later